Hi guys, it's Lee here from Carried Drum Shop, as you can see there. Uh, we're going to talk about two or three things here, okay, over a small series of videos. So I'm going to do some help, but I'm going to also do some uh, mini rants to start with. We're going to talk about this little baby. This is the Roland SPD SX machine, okay? Um, it's got all the various pads on it, and it's got various loops and all the rest, and it's, uh, at first... A real good option expensive in the UK uh, retailing approximately at the time of this video being taken this little baby is about 550 pounds just a lot of money but we're not just going to talk about this little baby we're also going to talk about this little baby and this is a 2 gigabyte SD card so there's a problem guys and the problem is that this 2 gigabyte memory card just 2 just 2 belongs to that and that when you buy one of these is not clipped in if I can just show you like a little slot here where you can pop in pop out like on your uh, GoPro cameras and stuff like that it's not a clickety little clickety no this is glued and buried deep down inside of that box and a lot of guys for 550 pound a petrified to unbolt all of this and have a look inside it's not too difficult actually and we're going to show you that so let's take you through now why do you need to change a two gigabyte SD card because what I did when I had it if I just flick you over sorry about the hand there if I flick you over so you can see let's have a look can you get a, a vision there it is you can see the screen there now okay so what I did when I first bought it I had this and I had all these different sounds I thought oh that's good but the problem is these sounds are of no use to you other than a few samples. But if you want to actually play live music with one of these things, you've either just got a basic drum machine for, so for pads or you've got a couple of samples in there. But I wanted it for what I saw on the internet, which was to put drum tracks on there. So I could put, say, like uh, brass, uh, some piano, almond organ and stuff like that, maybe a bit of backing vocal, record that, or download that file, put the whole song on so that the bass player, the drum player, <coughs> the drummer, I should say, <coughs> the vocalist, maybe a guitar player, could play over the top of that. You can headphones in, put your click track on, link your pads together on this, or link a foot switch like this, which we will talk about later. You can link them together, bang, and off you go, and you play the song, and then you move on to the next one, according to that and then it's bang move on to the next song so i did that and i did load it up song one song two song three song four memory full for ah let's try it again song four memory full i thought but there's only four there's not every instrument on there there's only parts so i couldn't believe it so i started to do some research now roland will have you believe with all of the videos this is a powerful all singing all dancing machine four backing tracks guys you're looking at doing full set lists on these maybe two set lists maybe three set lists do you know what i mean but 99 um there's 99 song slots in there and you can get three in there other than the roland sounds so i even took those sounds out and then stick them on, but my memory was still almost half full with three to four songs on it. So I thought, wow, I'm not going to get even ten songs on this thing. So I was really annoyed. So I started doing my research. And it was during my research that I realised that these have got two gigabytes. Now, Roland said, oh, no, no, it's four gigabyte of memory, which is still rubbish. But the problem is, this as a system, this setup is surely going to take X amount of uh, memory anyway doesn't matter what so that's a certain amount of memory locked up so you could lose one and a half to two gigabytes straight away so really what they're doing is putting that in for your own personal sounds and that simply is not good enough not for 550 quid so you could say well buy the S SPDSX uh, special there's another little S but that extra little S will cost you another hundred pounds and the problem is with that is all they have done then is exactly the same as this machine, but they've painted it red and then they put a 16 gigabyte, one six gigabyte in there. So they're charging you 100 quid for that, guys, and a different color mold. 
that ain't acceptable. It is simply not acceptable. Roland, you look after your customers. If they're spending £550 each time with you, whether that's retail or factory, it doesn't matter, £550 at the end of the day for the customer, you give them something that they can use properly in a live environment, okay? You don't buy a car only to find out. You can't put any passengers in it. So that's the way it is. So what we're going to do now is do a series of videos, guys. Okay, we're going to run through so they're not too long a piece. And we're going to show you how to change that. <clears throat> I do have to say, this is down to you whether you take the risk or not. I've done it. I've worked out all the hardships and the and come back to the conclusion. So it's my, I've got a way of doing it. So it's down to you if you want to do that. Uh, if you uh, want to keep on with the two gigabyte and just have it as a bit of a toy, it's up to you. So I'm going to run through and show you all of that, how I changed the card, how I opened it up, pros and cons, or, or the things to be careful of, and then getting it all back. So the first thing first, just make sure, although we won't need these files, but let's just make sure that we put our files from you onto that baby there. So all I'm going to do is to get my USB, which is here, one of them types USB, and I'm going to shove that in the back of there, guys. Bear with me, I have to lean over, and there she is, there, upside down version, pop that in, like so. If you come over to here now, it lights up uh, like mad, look, all of it, did a little, all the lights start flashing on and off in a very slow pulse which is all fine, that's always going anyway. And then it simply tells you, look, connected to computer. So that's what will happen when you stick that in, if you haven't already done that. Then when you come to your computer, this will appear and it'll simply tell you Roland. And in there are your files. So all you do is simply copy, guys, and paste somewhere onto your home screen or put them in a folder on your PC. So you just got them tucked away. So I'm going to spin you around like this now. Wow. So remembering that the Roland SBDX SX, as you can see down here, is just classed as an external drive. It is not um, anything other than that. It is a little memory card external drive. So it comes up, look, as H on mine, okay? And if I click on properties, I've now changed it. And I've got tons of free space and just a little bit of used space. Not forgetting that this within three songs was absolutely chock-a-block all the way around. So we're going to show you how, it, how we do that. So first of all, click copy everything that's in these files that you can see. Okay, look, all these bits and just put them somewhere safe. The reason that I say you don't actually need them, but I would put the files away, is when you do a factory reset... <clears throat> those files will automatically come into the machine anyway. So we're going to switch this down, or shut it down, unplug it, take it into next door to the little workshop that we got there. I'm going to start pulling it apart and I'm going to show you how to change a 2 gigabyte up to 16. Okay, see you in a second. <laughs> 